Hello children, today we will learn about the photosynthesis process of the plant. What is photosynthesis process? The word photosynthesis actually has two parts, photo which means light and synthesis which means to make or put together. So it means to use light to make something, in this case to make food. By the process of photosynthesis, plants produce their food to grow and to survive. They absorb sunlight from the sun, water and nutrients from soil and carbon dioxide from air and make glucose or sugar which works as the energy or food for the plants. In this chemical reaction, oxygen is also produced as byproduct by the plants which is used by all living things for respiration. The whole process of photosynthesis occurs in the leaves of the plant. That is why leaves are called the kitchen or food factory of the plant. Now we will see what are the essential requirements for photosynthesis process. Chlorophyll. The role of chlorophyll in photosynthesis is vital. Chlorophyll which resides in the chloroplasts of the plants is the green pigment that is necessary for plants in order to convert carbon dioxide and water into oxygen and glucose using sunlight. Without chlorophyll, plants cannot use the sunlight energy to make food. Also, oxygen levels in the air will go down. If that happens, plants and animals will suffocate. Sunlight Sunlight has energy. Plants use this energy to make sugars from water and carbon dioxide. Sunlight is the main source of energy during photosynthesis. That is why photosynthesis is alternatively called a light reaction where light energy is converted into chemical energy. Water The roots of a plant absorb water and nutrients from the soil. Water is a solvent in all living beings. Dissolved substances are moved around our body to where they are needed with the help of water. Just like us, plants have veins for this movement. They move minerals from the roots upward. They move sugars from the leaves downwards. Water is also important because it provides support to the plant to keep it upright. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is the source of the carbon in the glucose made through the process of photosynthesis. The six carbons of glucose come from six molecules of carbon dioxide. Without CO2, plants cannot make sugar. The plant absorbs or takes in carbon dioxide from the air through the little holes called stomata. These holes are found all over the plant, mostly under the leaves. Soil The soil provides mineral nutrients and water for the plant that are necessary during photosynthesis. Soil also provides anchorage to the plant, otherwise the plant cannot stand up straight. Step by step process of photosynthesis. First of all, chlorophyll in the leaves captures the sunlight energy. This energy splits the water in the plant into hydrogen and oxygen. The oxygen is released into the air. The hydrogen is used with the carbon dioxide to make glucose or sugars. The sugars are then moved from the leaves to other parts of the plants where they are stored. The water in the plant veins carries the sugars. When the sugars reach the storage parts, they are changed into starch. Plants can store the starch in places like leaves, fruits, stem, seeds, flowers and roots. Now, photosynthesis is not merely a food making activity of the plants, but it is a great miracle and it impacts the life of 
all living beings very closely. Let us see how. Oxygen which we take into our lungs when we inhale is the main product of photosynthesis. So photosynthesis is the indirect source of our life. We cannot consume the energy of sun directly. Therefore, solar energy needs to be converted into another usable form of energy, which is what photosynthesis does. By means of this process, plants turn solar energy into a stored form they can use at some later time. Living things that feed on these plants in turn meet their own energy needs through the carbohydrates stored in plants by way of photosynthesis. Materials like wood, paper, cotton and other natural fibers consist of cellulose produced almost entirely by photosynthesizing plants. Even wool depends upon the energy sheep obtain from grass and photosynthesis. Photosynthesis also helps in maintaining the atmosphere temperature. Millions of tons of carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere every year as a result of the respiration of human beings and animals. Wide temperature fluctuations may occur in the absence of photosynthesis. In short, photosynthesis is the lifeline of all human beings as well as other living things. So I hope you have understood what is the photosynthesis process. I will come again with a one more interesting video. Till then, goodbye and take care.